Hi! On this video I will teach you how to install and create a database for your Arc Server plugins. We will start by downloading and installing the latest MySQL Community Server. We will click on this sketchy cheap ad looking box that says Installer for Windows. Clicking download on the bottom one will take you to this other sketchy page where you will reject a login like my dad rejected me when I was born. Once you have the installer that looks like the computer at your vegan communist cowsing farm, open the server tab and select the latest one if more than one version shows up for you. Once it is selected click on the arrow to move it to the right box. Next is to do the same thing with the connector. Select the latest C++ connector and again click on the arrow to be one more step closer to finish watching this video so you can go back to watch random shit on TikTok. There is one step you will have to do on your own under applications if you don't have MySQL Workbench enabled. Open the Workbench tab and move the top one to the left box by using the arrow again. Once you have selected MySQL Server, Workbench and Connector click on Execute and wait for it to install. Next step is to configure your server. Please make sure to follow this step by step or your plugins might not connect to the server. Click on Next and we will select Server Computer. You can leave the port to 3306 but I suggest changing at least the last digit. I will go with 3309 and leave everything else as it is. We will need to remember this port for future use. Make a note to store this port and the passwords we are about to create. Next is the auth method. It's very important you select the legacy authentication method. Click next and now we will need to set a password for the server. I suggest a password generator from a trusted website for that extra safety measures. It is obvious but I will say it anyways. Never share your password. Not even with plugin devs. I went with Norton and set the characters to 40 and generated a bunch of random passwords before copying the one I will be using for this video. Paste it in your root password and repeat password as you can see the password is strong enough. Now we will create the user your plugins will use to log in your database. You can name it whatever you want but keep it one word and easy to remember. Now we will set this user a password for plugins to use. Again go to your trusty website to generate another password so you can fill up the credentials box. I know this video might turn you into a talkative high school girl asking questions so I will post a link to my discord at the video description. Feel free to join and ask any questions also remember to create a note to save all the passwords to my Gucci hole. Now that you have created the user go to the next page and don't change anything here unless you already have a service name named like the default here. As you can see I already have one so I will change the 0 for a 9. Click next and leave this as it is. Click next again followed by execute to finish the server installation. If you follow this guide step by step everything should install correctly but if that's not the case take a step back and check if you did everything right. If you can click on the finish button you did everything right so it's time to open the workbench and connect to the server to start making databases. Click the plus icon here and give a name to the connection followed by typing local host, the port, username we created also the password we stored on our note file. I hope you did because if you didn't you will have to uninstall and start this process all over again. Once you have filled this section click OK and now it is safe to close this tab. A new box with our database should show up on the workbench. Click on it and you will be connected to the server. Congrats if you got here. Now it's time to make our first database for our plugins. Click on the create a new schema and give it a name related to the plugin you will be using it for. I will make one for Arc Shop then click apply and apply again followed by finish and you have now created a database. Let's make another one for our cross chat by repeating the process. You can make as many schemas as you want once you have learned this last step. You may also delete in schema by right clicking on it and navigating to drop schema followed by drop now. I will finish this video by running this command to increase the max number of connections. This will fix many issues you might encounter in the future. You can set it lower or higher to your liking. Leave a like if this helped you and I will see you on the next one.